Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Pattab. This video is part of our new series which mainly focuses on Atasar interview questions. Each part includes three Atasar questions along with the answer, which will significantly enhance your preparations in the upcoming interviews. So without any further delay, let's begin with the part one of Atasar interview questions. Well, we are back to our screen. I hope the screen represents Autosar interview question part 1, which basically contains three questions as you can see on the screen. Well, let us begin with our first question. It goes like this. What is meant by Autosar? In this question, you can tell about what exactly you know about Autosar and how Autosar is helping out. You can start with something like this. Autosar stands for Automotive Open System Architecture. This is a standardized framework that is developed by a consortium of automotive manufacturers, suppliers and other stakeholders in order to address the challenges that are faced by the increasing complexity of automotive software systems. Autosar mainly aims to establish an open and standardized software architecture for automotive issues that is nothing but electronic control units, which you can say as essentially the brain of modern vehicles. These issues control various functions such as engine management, braking, steering and infotainment in the vehicle. One of the key goals of Autosar is to promote modularity in the automotive software designs. It achieves this by breaking down complex software systems into smaller, reusable components that can be developed, integrated and deployed independently. This modular approach in turn enables greater flexibility, scalability and portability of the software across different vehicle platforms and manufacturers. Overall, Autosar plays a crucial role in advancing the automotive industry by streamlining software development processes, reducing complexity and fostering collaboration among the stakeholders. Holders. It enables automakers to deliver innovative features and functionalities more efficiently while still maintaining high standards of safety, reliability and performance in modern vehicles. This was short introduction wherein you can tell about what exactly you understood about Autosap. Now, let us move ahead with our second question. And the question goes something like this. What is the main objectives of Autosap? Well, this is the main question which is mainly asked in many of the interviews. You can answer to this question in this format. The main principle of Autosap is corporate on standards and compete on implementation. So, the members, that is the core members, established a set of main objectives. In order to maintain a common standard among the manufacturers, software suppliers and tool developers, so that the outcome of the product process can be delivered without any need of any alterations. Now, I will only mention the key objectives so that you can explain any of the key objectives in detail in your interview round. Well, the first point is transferability of functions from one issue to another within the network of issues. The second point is integration of functional modules from multiple suppliers. Third point is scalability to different vehicles and platform variants. Next point is consideration of availability and safety requirements. Moving on to the next point that is implementation and standardization of basic functions as an industry-wide standard core solution. You can also mention about maintainability throughout the whole product life cycle. Last but not the least, software updates and upgrades over the vehicle lifetime is also taken care. So out of these few objectives, you can mention any one of the objective in detail and explain the interviewer how exactly the process is followed and what all steps are being involved in it. Let us quickly move ahead to our our third question which basically states, explain some advantages of using Autosap. Well, this is an interesting question which major interviewers ask you in the beginning of the interview. You can answer to this question by addressing four advantages and explaining about it. The first advantage is based on software reusability. Autosap promotes a modular architecture where software components are developed as reusable building blocks. By breaking down complex systems into smaller, reusable components, Autosap facilitates facilitates the creation of libraries and templates for common functionalities. 
By doing this, developers can use these reusable components across multiple projects and applications, which in turn reduces the development time and effort. Additionally, by reusing pre-built and tested components also enhances reliability and reduces the risk of errors in the system. Moving on to our second advantage, which is based on time reduction. Opisa provides standardized interfaces, protocols, and methodologies that streamline software development processes. The modular architecture and component-based development approach enable parallel development and integration of the software components. By standardizing interfaces and communication protocols, Opisa reduces the integration efforts and accelerates time to the market for automotive systems. The next advantage is based on standardization. We have been speaking about standardization so much and it becomes important for us to mention it in the advantages as well. So basically what exactly it means is that standardization promotes collaboration within the automotive supply chain and enables seamless integration of software components from different suppliers. Moving ahead with our last advantage which is based on improved quality. Due to standardized interfaces, there is reduction of errors which improves the reliability of the software and also enhances the quality of the software and this can be reused in multiple functionalities since it has been already tested. Well, these were few advantages that can be told during your interview process. However, keep in mind that you can add on many other advantages as well to this question. Just to make it very simple and clear, I have picked up only 4 advantages as of now for this particular video. Take these videos as your reference to prepare well for the interview. In-depth knowledge and the way you deliver the answer to the question also matters. So understand the concept better and you will surely be able to crack any question in the interview rounds. Well, this was part 1 video of our Otisa interview question series. I hope you found the information insightful. For any queries, you can drop in your questions in the comment section below. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.